that was probably the greatest engineer there ever was. Al had those when I met him. Obviously the mastering lab was Doug Sachs. Doug was Al's mastering engineer since the 70s. So they were, they were a team, they were great friends. It was really fun going to the mastering lab. But the mastering lab, Doug and his brother, they did build some equipment and one of the things they built, they built the speakers. I and mean, one of the things was the mastering lab mic preamps and just really nice tube mic preamps. Big, fat, warm sounding. They always worked. At one point, I remember Al said, oh, Doug's got a mod for the, for the preamps to get some more gain out of them. Take them all out of the rack, and take them over to the mastering lab. And you know, two weeks later, they came back and they had a high gain mod and we could actually get some more gain out of them for ribbon mics and stuff like that. You know, when I first started working with Al, we would use them on vocals a lot. And then we would always use them in the big band setups. Usually they were on the trumpets, you know, sometimes a bass. Again, he would mix and match, but for the most part, they were the, the trumpet mics in a big band setup. And he loved them, and it was great. And, you know, they were, they were such great partners, Al and, and Doug. So, you know, having the Mastering Lab stuff there, especially after Doug passed, was always kind of special to look down and see that.